Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Cabela's, Cuddyback, America's Best Bowstrings, Drake Non-Typical, Easton Arrows, Frigid Forage, Fuse, Grizzly Coolers, and Realtree. Day 9, October 19th. For this evening's mission, I'm heading back into the area where we've been hunting that buck that I called the Big Seven. I was going to leave him alone. I kind of had a little change of plans here. I know uh, yesterday in my video blog, I said I wasn't going to hunt again until Sunday. But I had a surprise today when the farmer was taking that cornfield out. And uh, I've had a lot of good luck the day, first couple of days after they combine a cornfield because the deer just love going in there and getting that grain that's laying on top of the ground that the combine kind of halfway you know, misses or scatters around. So just to be able to hunt it easier, I grabbed a redneck blind on a trailer and pulled it in there and positioned it about where I think the deer are gonna come down off that hill out of that alfalfa field into the corn. And it's such a crap shoot because you know, I could be off by 50 yards easy. So I mean, tonight, hopefully at least we don't mess it up. I mean, that's my hope for tonight and then we can readjust the position of the blind and take advantage of the patterns of these deer a little bit better now that the corn is gone. They don't, they don't show any real concern if you move a blind in the day that they combine the corn. If you wait a few days and then put the blind in, they get really nervous around it, but they just think it's a piece of farm equipment that got left over from, from the harvest and it's no big deal to them. So that's always a trick that I use every year. Uh, but we're gonna try to take advantage of this uh, fresh combine corn and see what comes out. There it is right there. I've got it about 20 yards from that tree line. And I kind of wish I'd have had it about 15 yards further out into the field. I was thinking anything going up and down that tree line would be perfect, but uh, my guess is the deer are probably gonna be further out in that corn. We're probably gonna be too close to the trees. But like I said, hopefully at least we don't spook anything so we can always move that blind. Once they get used to it in the field, they're totally good with it being there. You don't have to worry about moving it a little ways because they don't have to get used to it again because they're already used to it. So now the trick is trying to figure out how to get in there. Uh, I mean, the deer are probably gonna come out of that timber right there. So we're, we're gonna have to loop around, I think, and loop around and come up the tree line from the south. Got about 15 minutes left, and it must have been the heat today, being mid-60s with the sunshine in this afternoon that has kept the deer movement down. There were a few does that came out into the, into the alfalfa field and worked their way down into the cornfield here, but we have not seen very many deer. Uh, interestingly, they stopped and looked at the blind, but that was it. They never paid much attention to it, kept right on. So the blind hasn't really been a factor uh, of keeping the deer from moving. And for sure, when the combine pulled out of here three hours ago, that's not a problem. So it has to be the weather. Um, there are a couple of deer still out. So I think when we leave, we're gonna shoot straight across this little 20 yards, 25 yards of corn and into that ditch and across and circle around and go back to the house that way. I think if we go out the way we came in, we're going to bump too many deer. 
So we're always trying to figure out how to get away from these evening spots without messing them up. The best way to do it, of course, is to have somebody drive in and bump the deer off for you with an ATV or a vehicle, but we don't have that option tonight, so we're going to have to make a run for it once it gets close to dark. If we don't have very many more deer come on, it's not going to matter because we're not going to spook very much if there's nothing out there, but I'm guessing that before this evening is over with, in these next 15 minutes, there'll be a few more of them that pop out. We'll show you what comes out. And now I am going to stick to my original plan from yesterday, and I'm not going to hunt tomorrow, and I may hunt Sunday. I'm not 100% sure on Sunday. I need to uh, do a little bit of thinking about that first, but uh, it is supposed to cool down, so hopefully you have a good weekend, good luck, and uh, keep checking back, and I'll keep bringing you the action here.